What's up everyone? Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Alright, I am just setting stuff up right here. Just bear with me one second. I want to make sure that I got this thing going. Alright. What's up? Hello everyone. Spontaneous live stream! <laughs> Um, shout out to Stefan Ellis, Sparin, Zachary Wood, Whitney Hector, Andrew Puffsicle Official, Nintendo Nerd CMM, Jack Keller, Andres Gutierrez, Jakester the Knight of Darkness. What's up, everyone? Power Rangers fan, but not. What? Why not? TV Tatus. <laughs> How is it going? So... This is going to be a brief little live stream. I'm not going to be on here super, super long, but I wanted to kind of get on and talk a little bit about Q-Ranger. I have been filming a bunch of reviews, so I don't know exactly when they're coming up. In the next day or two, they're going to start, okay? In the next day or two. I don't know exactly when, but in the next day or two. I've been filming a lot. As you can see, I'm, I'm all decked out and ready. Um, and uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm super excited, guys. Let me show you a little sneak peek of something that looks really cool. You ready? All right, hold on. Let me let me flip the camera. Boom, look at that. It's a little out of place. But uh, look at all the Qtama. Look at all the Qtama right there. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. So, um, they're really cool. They're a lot of fun. I have one of them right here. Um, and... Uh, so this, if you guys don't know, this is the latest Super Sentai series, Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger. The first episode has aired. The second episode airs this weekend. So it just started. It's brand new. It's Space Sentai. And you have these little Qtama things, and you can collect them and put them in the different toys and everything. Q-Ren-O is awesome, and combining it with all the different mecha is, has been awesome so far. I'm loving it. Um, I have it in a couple pieces down below. Um, but that's going to be my first review. Q Ren O is my first review, um, and a lot of the stuff, like I show you a bunch of combinations and really cool, and then I just filmed my review of this as well. So I have a bunch of reviews I've been filming. But this thing is actually really neat because, you know, it does read all the different um, Qtama. So it does play a whole bunch of different sounds. So if I want to henshin into this thing, I don't know what move they do, I forget, but... Shishi. All right, I'm going to summon the Shishi Voyager. I've now summoned the Shishi Voyager, and I can control it, which is really cool. So it's a control mode. It's like you're controlling your own Zord. That's epic. That's pretty cool. I'm digging that a lot. Then, I can combine it with Q-Reno. That's pretty epic as well. And then, I can do an attack. You guys ready? And then double tap. So anyways, it's pretty cool. I do dig it. I think it's, it's really unique. Uh, lots of different lights and sounds with this thing. So I've done a whole review showing all the Qtama that I have in this thing. All the lights and sounds for all nine of the Q-Rangers. So I will be doing a review of that, um, which I'm excited about. So what do you guys think? Um... Any thoughts on Q-Ranger? Have you guys seen it or not seen it? Uh, let me know. I'm going to turn off the sounds and stuff on this. Uh, let me know in the chat and everything uh, what you guys what you guys thought. Um, so where can you watch it? Um, so the uh, 
the I've watched the sub on uh, so overtime is doing the sub. So if you search like Google search like overtime Q Ranger sub something like that, you'll probably find it. I don't know what the direct link is or something. Uh, I probably retweeted it at some point, so you can go check it out. Uh, but if you just kind of Google overtime Q Ranger sub, uh, I think other people may be subbing it later, but overtime is the one that does it like the quickest, and, and theirs is already out, and that's the one that I watched. So, um, so you can go check that out. Only episode one is out so far. Uh, episode two airs this weekend. Um, so yeah, so that's um, that's pretty cool. The other thing that I want to do today on this live stream is unbox something else. Um, do you guys want me to unbox something? Yes or no? Let me know. Um, all right. I see, I see a couple votes for yes. All right. You guys, you guys want unboxing. So I've saved one Q Ranger thing to unbox right now. And that is Q the weapon right here. So boom, I'm gonna unbox it right now. And uh, where are my scissors? Here they are. All right. Surprise Q Ranger unboxing. Let's go. Now I'm excited about this because this has nine different modes. So like if you look at the back of the box, every Q Ranger has its own version of the weapon. And you can actually make all nine versions of that. That's pretty epic. Like that's a lot of playability. And this actually looks really neat. So I'm excited about that. So, all right. Here we go, we got some instructions right here. Got the uh, stuff right here. We also have a Kutama that is not for one of the Rangers. So this is my first non-Ranger Kutama. This is number 20. And it looks like a little telescope. So very interesting, so that's that one right there. So I will be doing an in-depth review of this later. So I'm just kind of quickly, you know, glancing at some of the stuff. Ooh, I like the, the sparkles in the blade. So look at the blade, it's nice and sparkly. That's kind of cool. Very spacey, you know, got a space look to it. That's actually really neat. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, even these blades are like sparkly. That's really cool. I like it, I like it. Okay. Let me put all the packaging back in the box here. All right. I'm kind of curious, I've not done this yet, what this non-Ranger Kutama, what it sounds like on the, um, in the Seiza Blaster. Why don't we find out? All right, here we go. Let's see what it says. I don't know what that was. I don't know what it just said. Does it say in English what kind of Kutama it is? It does not. So I don't know what that just said. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, all right. Oh, whoops, hold on. It actually came out. Let's do it again. I don't know what that was. All right. Okay, so when there is no ranger, it just doesn't do a sound. So that's, that's interesting. Oh, that was really interesting. Alrighty then. Ooh, these are interesting sounds with this thing. Huh. Alright, let's try the attack. That's a really interesting sound. Interesting, interesting. All right, well that's that one. So again, I'll kind of go more in depth than that in my actual review, but I just, I was kind of curious about that. Um, okay, so how does this thing, this thing work here? So I assume I can just connect it onto the top like that. 
So I think this must be one of the modes right here. Uh, does this thing use batteries? Yes, it does. So uh, do I have my, oh, I put the screwdriver and stuff away. Okay, well, I'll have to do that later. So this thing does have batteries. There's a bunch of buttons here. There's a button here, button here, button on the side, a whole bunch of different buttons. So I guess you can come up with different combinations, but it's a pretty decent size for what it is. Like, it's pretty cool. Um, and this thing can flip around and do stuff. And uh, let me see if I can come up with another combination without even looking, like at the instructions. Oh, so this thing comes out too. And then this folds back like that. Is this one of the combinations maybe? Something like that, I think, for orange. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, okay, so that goes in. There's all sorts of interesting stuff. And then you can also put the Qtama on here too. So that's pretty interesting. Um, it, oops, and I'm gonna break these Qtama. Um, the, uh, it does not read the Qtama because there's no pins on here. So it doesn't matter which one you put in, but it will have lights and sounds and stuff. So, um, so that's still pretty cool. So yeah, that's, this looks really interesting. I'm gonna have to learn a lot of these different transformation modes. There's a lot here. Um, all right, cool. So that's that's the uh, the this little guy right here. Cue the weapon. Um, pretty cool, guys. So I'm I'm liking all this stuff so far. What do you guys think uh, of everything? Is there anything that you guys are really excited about in particular to see? there. Very important instructions. Power Rangers Ninja Super Steel. That uh, is not a thing yet. <laughs> Ninja Steel is already uh, something as is. So, oh yeah, you like my Power Rangers movie shirt? I had to represent. <laughs> so, I'm doing well, Ranger Red. How are you? And my day was good, Raymond. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for, for asking. So, all right, I'm gonna take this thing off because this is kind of getting annoying. There we go, my hand is free. So this thing's pretty interesting. So, um, will I watch the movie? Absolutely. Um, I am super excited about the movie and I cannot wait for that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Mark Anthony Oglesby, I dig the new five inch two packs of the movie with the old figures. That that's a really cool um, idea that they did, the then and now packs, where you have the original Mighty Morphin figure and then the movie figure. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, I will not be getting them though because I already have all the figures. The original Mighty Morphin ones were already released before, and the movie ones I already got as well. So I, there's nothing new in those packs, but I like the idea of it though. So for somebody that doesn't have those action figures, it's perfect. Definitely really awesome. So. Definitely really cool. Death Ryuja, my favorite ranger yet in Ninja Steel. Um, I don't know. It, it's too early to say. There's, none of them really have kind of stuck with me yet, you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm maybe a little partial towards Preston because it's, it's Peter and... Um, yeah, you know, he's, he's cool, so... But it's way too early to say, you know? Way too early to say, definitely. So... Gerardo, don't I feel the movie toys are kind of cheap? Um, like, if you're talking about the, the Megazords and stuff, the action figures are great. The, if you're talking about the Megazords and everything, the Zords and then the combination, yes and no. I think it does feel a little cheap, you know? But when you put it all together and you see the massive thing, like, it, it's pretty impressive, too. So I have kind of mixed feelings on it, I think. Um, it does feel a little cheaper than, than usual, and it's more expensive, but it is bigger. And when it all comes together, it's interesting. But, like, I feel like I like the interactive movie Megazord better, and that's also more accurate to the movie, apparently. So, you know, I think that one's kind of neat. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It, it, yeah, I get what you're saying. It does feel a little cheap, but it's, it's okay. Um, Nintendo Nerd CMM, what is your favorite Sentai? Uh, Gokaiger. 
I've only watched two Sentai all the way through, Shinkenger and Gokaiger. Um, I've watched little bits of a bunch of other Sentai, but Gokaiger... Shinkenger was awesome too, though, but Gokaiger's awesome. So, let's see. Brian Zhang, I hope I, I probably butchered that. I apologize. Do I watch Common Rider? No, I do not. Uh, nothing against it. I think Common Rider looks really cool. I just, one, don't have time, and two, if I start watching it, I'm afraid I'm going to get sucked into buying more stuff. And as you can see, I already have way too much to buy and review, so I cannot get myself into that, so I force myself to not watch. Um, but it looks pretty interesting. I mean, I, I've been trying to just get into Super Sentai, and that's already been difficult enough for me. Um, Q Ranger so far has only been one episode and I've loved it, but hopefully it continues. And so we'll see if, um, if, uh, you know, it, it, how it is going forward. So, um, we shall see, we shall see. Uh, Ricardo, I did not show Q Ren O in the stream. Um, I don't, I, it's sitting down there in a couple pieces and stuff. So I haven't, I have not showed that. Elite Nerfer, what is the 2018 Power Rangers? We don't know. I mean, it's the second season of Ninja Steel, whatever they're going to call it. Super Ninja Steel, Ninja Super Steel, Ninja Steel Super, whatever it is. It's something Ninja Steel, like, it's a, it's a continuation of Ninja Steel, you know? So. So let's see what else we got. KGM Productions, which is better, Power Rangers or Super Sentai? Neither is better than the other. They just both have, like people can have preferences either way my personal preference is i like power rangers better than super sentai you give me two things side by side i will choose power rangers every single time because it's what i grew up on it's what i'm used to you know but other people like super sentai better and that's totally okay um i don't like when people say like force other people to say that one is the other one is better than the other but um the uh yeah i mean i like power rangers better that's just me uh, oh five. What do I do? I work in health IT. That is my my official job, my day job, basically. Um, I uh, I'm an analyst for an electronic medical record that a physician's office uses is uses is <laughs> uses. Um, so this is just my hobby, my my fun stuff that I do on the side, basically. What's up, Mario? <laughs> Transformers or Power Rangers? Power Rangers. That's an easy one. Um, do I think Tommy is going to be in the movie? Raymond, I do not. Well, actually, okay, let me clarify that. Are you asking, like, Tommy, like, Jason David Frank? Because I have a feeling he'll have a cameo. But if you're talking about, like, Tommy Tommy, like, the character Tommy, then no. Unless they do something post-credits or something like that. I think Rita Repulsa is the Green Ranger. Um, I think she has the Green Ranger powers. She is, I don't think we're going to get any Green Ranger or Tommy or anything like that. Um in the movie yeah let's see uh when did i start loving power rangers and what's my favorite season um I started watching from the beginning. I was three and a half years old when Power Rangers started. Oh, I just totally remembered. Total sidetrack. I'm going to uh, come back to this in a second. But, um, yeah, I started watching Power Rangers from the beginning. It was it was awesome. Um, and my favorite season is probably Time Force, but there's so many great ones. In Space is another top one. Really, really good stuff. But I just remembered. So as a kid, I was obsessed with two things. I was obsessed with Power Rangers, and I was obsessed with Thomas the Tank Engine. So guess what I found today at Walmart? Thomas the Tank Engine minis of Power Rangers, guys. Power Rangers, Thomas the Tank Engines. My two childhood things combined. Like, look at that. There's, there's like the red, green, and yellow Rangers, white Ranger. You got Alpha, Rita Repulsa. Like, they're Thomas trains. Like, look at the back. It shows you the whole checklist. Like... That's amazing. So this set has nine trains in it. Um, and then they have one other set that has four in it. 
blue, black, and pink rangers and goldar. I, they did not have that set at Walmart. They only had this one at Walmart. So this is only at Walmart. If you go to your local Walmart, look for the Thomas, the tank engine section, look for the minis, and they have this big pack and then the pack of four. Those are the two packs you need. I, I'm gonna get the pack of four when I find it, then I'm gonna review it all together. So I will definitely do a review, absolutely. But I'm gonna wait for the other pack of four so I can do a review of all of them together because that is the entire set. Um, so I'm excited about this though. Like, this is my two childhood obsessions combined. Thomas the Tank Engine Power Rangers. Like that is, if somebody would have told me that as a little kid that that would ever exist, I would never believe them. Like how in the world could you believe that would happen? Like that is just insane. That is, that is insane. So I'm super excited about that. So I forgot about that I got it. It was sitting right there. I was like, oh yeah. Um, Jacqueline Harris, my favorite color is blue. Um, yeah. Red Hood Productions, do I think Juo Jo will be the second season of Ninja Steel? No. Um, I think Nin the second season of Ninja Steel will just stay Ninja Steel. I don't think we're going to get combination seasons again. Um, like, uh, like we did with Megaforce, Super Megaforce with Ghost Sager, Go Kaiger. Um, in fact, I think they're going to skip Drew Audra. I think after next year's second season of Ninja Steel, I think they're going to go to Q Ranger. That's my guess, at least. We'll see. What's up, Henry Lamb, Edgar Bravo, Jack v Vichon? Uh, where'd I grow up? Uh, Virginia, in the United States. I was born in Virginia, still am in Virginia. And yeah, that's where I live. Uh, David Bear, why did I get Thomas Minis? Why not? It's Thomas the Tank Engine. Um, it's my it's my childhood thing. Like I love Thomas and Power Rangers as a kid. So to see the two things combined is like insane to me. It's amazing. Um, so I had to get it. Like it's it's Power Rangers and Thomas the Tank Engine. Like it's awesome. So uh, what's up, Godzilla, Mast Magner, uh, Iram, Camacho, Frosty Gamer, Seven Twenty. Um, so, Ricardo, my favorite Q Thomas so far. That's a good question. Um, I'm torn. There's a couple really good ones. I like, I like the blue one, the Okami Q Tama, the wolf, because blue is my favorite color, and I think the wolf looks really cool. But I also like the Washi Kutama, the pink one, uh, the eagle. Um, especially the, the Washi Voyager, the toy itself, is really cool, and I love the combinations with, with Q-Reno, um, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, Venom1221, no, not Valentine's Day balloons, my birthday balloons, actually. My, uh, my co-workers, they know how much I like Power Rangers, so they went and got Power Rangers uh, Dino Charge uh, balloons, and I still have them up. My birthday was like... Yeah, almost a month ago, and these have been up for a month. They have not come down. Like, it's surprisingly, they've lasted really long. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it says happy birthday, Dino Charge, and they had, like, a Dino Charge cake and everything. Like, uh, these are my coworkers that, like, they don't know anything about Power Rangers, but they know that I love it. Uh, so they, they, they got all this stuff. Like, we went out to a restaurant, and they surprised me with all this stuff. So I was like, oh, this is crazy. So it was pretty cool. So my birthday was a month ago. But thank you. Uh, Jacqueline Harris, are there any Lego Power Ranger toys? No, there are Mega Blocks or whatever they changed it to now. But there is a campaign. There's a Lego Ideas website where people can go and vote for certain ones that they want to actually become um, the uh, actual sets. And so there's a Power Ranger set that's just a couple thousand votes away. So go to Lego Ideas, go find the Power Ranger set, and go vote for it. So then it can actually become a real thing. Because that would be cool if they actually made a real... Power Rangers Lego set. That would be awesome. So, yep. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Anyways, I'm going to hop off. I just wanted to get on and say hi and show you guys. I want to do a quick little unboxing. Let you guys know I have been filming a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm very excited to share all that with you very, very soon. Um, I cannot wait. Uh, and uh, so get ready for more Q Ranger reviews. I got Q Ren O, I got all the Mecha, the Seiza Blaster, Q the Weapon, and then I still have other reviews for Ninja Steel and the movie and all that stuff still pending as well. So lots of videos on the way, and I'm really excited about it. But I got to get to actually editing and stuff too. So if you want to see those reviews, I got to hop off. 
Um, otherwise, you're not going to be able to, to see the videos. I need time to edit all the stuff too. So, um, But I'll continue doing these live streams sometimes because it's definitely fun to hop on and, and talk to you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching, and, and it's always a lot of fun. So hope you guys have a great day. Take care, everyone, um, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone.